Hi, this is a review of Warm Bodies by Isaac Marianne. I picked this up against my better judgment because I found myself re-watching the trailer over and over again. I also picked this book because I really wanted to read a book on my new Kindle Fire and this book wasn't too expensive. And this is what the cover looks like on my Kindle. There was no other way to show you that cover. I had to Google an image and pull it up on my Kindle because if you click on the book cover, it just becomes the book. E-reader struggles. I'm not going to review my Kindle in this video. I'll make a video about that later. Warm Bodies is is a debut novel and there was a pretty interesting description of the author in the front of the book. It says he is not married, has no children, and did not go to college or win any prizes. I've watched quite a lot of zombie movies but my only zombie book experience that I've had so far is The Forest of Hands and Teeth which I quite enjoyed and the zombie survival handbook which I read a couple of years ago. One of the first things that I noticed while I was reading this book is that it has some really cool illustrations. They look like this which adds something interesting. The book is about a zombie called R who lives in an airport with a bunch of other zombies and the bonies who are a couple of stages further in the whole decomposing process and who seem to run the place. And the story is basically about what happens when he meets a real living girl and takes her home to his plane. I love the airport setting. One of R's favorite hobbies is just going a couple of rounds on the escalator. I really enjoyed that mental image. And as you might imagine this book depends very heavily on inner dialogue because R can't get more than two or three words out at a time. I really enjoyed the girl in the story who's called Julie. She's pretty feisty. She's not afraid to kick some ass. She's not a frightened little bird, but she's still a normal girl. Or, you know, as normal as you can be during a zombie apocalypse. This book had a pretty promising start. I was impressed with the writing. It's borderline YA, but there's some cursing in it. I felt like there was more effort put into the writing than in the general YA novels that are usually more focused on the storyline. There were some sentences and descriptions that I really enjoyed. But there was one thing that I didn't like at all. I hate when dreams and visions are one of the main parts of a book when a storyline relies very heavily on it. One example of that is Great and Terrible Beauty. I didn't really like that book purely for that reason. In this book, R eats the brain of Julie's boyfriend and when the zombies eat brains they get to relive some of the memories of that person. I quite like that idea. But then it starts taking up a larger part of the book and reality and memory get a bit mixed up and personally I could have done without that part of the story. Other interesting things that I thought about while reading this book is what happens when you punch a zombie. There are descriptions that he gets punched in the face and his jaw breaks. The bone can't fix itself so you just break your face forever. And then there's a description of zombies having sex, which is the best thing. Apparently out of habit they still try to have sex and they just stand there, naked, trying to rub their bodies together, but it doesn't quite work. So in conclusion, good beginning, interesting premise, a bit weak towards the end. I can definitely recommend this if, for example, you want to read the book before you see the movie or you really like the zombie genre. In the comments you can let me know if you've read the book or if you're planning on seeing the movie. I'll also put a link to the trailer in the description and I will talk to you guys later. Doi! Hell me cool. That's too bright. That's too bright. See, you don't have this problem with the book cover.